Yes, Podcraft here, and yay, this is Kids for Edu, and we're teaching you science. I'm actually a different person. I'm actually a original Kids for Edu. Totally, for real. I'm totally um, not Kids for and I decided to do science because I can. We're going to be learning fossils and rack layers. Yay. What is a fossil? Let's say I'm an animal. I die. Uh-oh, that's really sad. Unfortunately, that's me. And now, oh, I get I get buried in this specific location. Over time, pressure and all compacts me and erodes. Um, I could die in a specific way, which my body, my all my bones are preserved in a great way. I don't become rack or just erode away. I become a fossil. Um, and how do we know how old fossils are? There's a law called superposition. Uh, superposition, um, um, we can use multiple, uh, laws of, sci of science called stuff. Um, one of the laws is called superposition. Superposition basically states, um, in an undisturbed state, young younger racks layers sit on top of older ones. So, this is, um, A... This is C, B, and, and, uh, A. And now, we can pretty easily deduce, um, we can kind of deduce, um, what, um, now, how do we know which is the oldest rack layer of your superposition? Now, this is an incredibly easy one, but, uh, in this case, we know it's going to be C because, well, it's A. Now, why is it the young, why is it oldest, why is you usually older in undisturbed state, um, on the bottom on the A? Is the top? Well, I like to think of a mountain. Now, what is mountains? Mountains are from when, uh, plate boundaries collide. So, let's say a plate boundary is just colliding indefinitely for some reason. Now, what happens? So now, we're colliding into each other, and, uh, we push out rack layers continuously. Now, over time, we're gonna be continuously seeing rack layers forever and ever. Now, we see, on the top of the mountain in this example, um, the top of the mountain will always have the latest, um, the newest rack material. While, what well, um, while even when we're pushing up here, even when we're pushing up there, like here and here, we're pushing up there, um, when we, we're even adding more material, uh, we're pushing up material, but, uh, we're pushing up new material through here, and this material gets older and older and older because we're just getting more material on top of it, piling on top of it, piling on top of it, and, um, in an undisturbed state, obviously. Like, let's say, like, if something were to, like, you know, mess with the boundaries, or, like, you know, knock it over, or push it, or, like, I don't know, a pug, um... Someone like pushes it down or something. I don't know. Um, obviously it'll be stored, but by default it will push new material in and in and in and expand it while piling on top of the uh, youngest, uh, the the uh, youngest layer, and then eventually the new youngest layer gets formed and all. Um, what is um? Also, you can figure out uh some layers uh. A thing about, um, fault, a th uh, another little thing to know is a fault. Now, let's take this, let's take, let's take, let's take a little thing. So, we're going to have to try to find the, uh, youngest back layer. B, C, D. And there's a fault here. Now, which, will f which is from first? The fault, C, O, All these now it's obviously the fault because why? Well, a fault itself is just a split in a rack, and well, can you have a split in a rack if the no if rack doesn't exist? No, so faults will always be younger than the rack itself. 
Um, and the choosing is a is a cut and a body of Ignis Black found within Oak's crust. Um, when two f- features intersect, um, one that cuts through, the other is younger. This is known as the cross cutting relationship. So when two features in a um in a rack that cuts through the so for example like if this gets cut through here the um the one that cuts through like if this layer gets cut cuts through C B is gonna be still younger and C is still gonna be older even if it gets cut through um We study, um, we stu- we can all uh, use it to study the relative events of Earth's history, so we can know, like, different racks, like, if, uh, um, long ancient species came, died earlier, and all stuff. Now, let's move into Khan Academy and see if we're gonna pass Khan Academy. Oh, we're gonna be sent to the Shadow Realm. Alright. Which statement best compares the relative ages of... Gr- Granite and basalt intrusions. Hmm, basalt, granite. I'm gonna think it's basalt because it's newer. Because it's cutting through. Yes, because we see it got it cuts through it first. Um, it cuts through the granite. Um, and it goes on the top. And it's intrusion. Next question. Which one is the youngest? Limestone. Because it's a tap. Uh. Hmm. We know because we see the tap is now. Was aquatic, then. Like maybe like a swamp, and then a forest or something. Guess one. Which layers are approximately the same age? So, I'm going to think it's layer 2 and 6. Alright guys, we did it. See you in the next one. Alright guys, next, guys, have a wonderful day guys. Alas, and goodbye.